Hi guys, welcome to another video. Why can I not just shop my own closet? Why can't I enjoy the bags I have? Why do I always have to be thinking about what's next? Why do I need another one of the same thing over and over again? Let's get going. I've just picked up this absolutely amazing bag from, this was from New York. This was from the flagship store in Hermes. It's the Hermes Evelyn 29 and it's in the color gold with gold hardware, although it's very minimal hardware. And while I was reviewing or doing a first impression of this bag, and I have been using this a reasonable amount recently, I just thought, oh, I love this so much. And straight away, I thought, I need it in another color. I'd love another one, I'd love another one. And in fact, when I was trying to sell my Dior Caro bag, I had the, well, there was a possibility of me being able to do a swap from Bagista. So they would, in effect, pay me a store credit for my Caro. I could put that money towards something that they had. And they had an Evelyn 29 in the colour prune i think it was called prune and it's a beautiful purpley burgundy oh it's absolutely beautiful and straight away i was thinking oh i could get that and then i got to thinking afterwards why 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 do i need another evelyn so soon after just buying this one why can't i just enjoy this one and wear this one why do i need it in another color the same happened to me after I bought this one. <laughs> so this is the Louis Vuitton Cousin bag and this is the PM size in the beautiful navy blue with silver hardware. The minute I got this, I think I even said in my unboxing video, there'll be other Cousin bags in my future. I am absolutely sure. I'm, I'm sure that I said those words or words to that effect. I'm sure that I was thinking immediately, oh, I don't know why I haven't bought this before. I will be buying more of them. What other colours are there? What about the BB size? Instead of just saying, this is the bag that I have. I've just bought it. It is beautiful. I want to use it. Why am I thinking about the next bag? Why is it always the same that I am thinking, what's next, what's next, what's next? I had the same thoughts exactly when I picked this up. This is my absolutely beautiful caviar mini from Chanel. And I bought this pre-loved and I did a swap for this one with Bag Easter. I sold my Lady Dior in red and in part exchange for this with Bag Easter. So I had to put a little bit more money towards this no regrets, absolutely love this. But since I got this, I have been not really on the hunt, but I have been just keeping an eye out of other caviar minis that might be coming along. Obviously they have to be pre-loved because Chanel do not do caviar minis like this anymore in store, they, they don't produce them. So I am constantly just having a look and <laughs> seeing what's around. Why? I just got this one. Why can't I just enjoy this one? Why am I thinking I need it in another colour? I've also done the same with this bag and this is the wallet on chain. And more recently, again, I think I've been just in love with caviar since buying this one. It's reignited my love of Chanel, it really has, and my love of caviar. And I absolutely have adored this walk. And more recently, I've been thinking maybe I need another walk. I don't need another anything. I do not need another walk. These are perfectly adequate in my life without needing another colour or another version. And it just got me thinking, why, oh why, can I not just be satisfied with what I've got? Is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? Does it actually matter? Does it matter? What is the psychology behind it? What is it that I am, why am I like that? Now I am very much, everybody can do whatever they want to do. If you want to have 20, 30, 200 Cousin bags in every single colour that Louis Vuitton do, go do it because I think it's absolutely fabulous and amazing. If you have something that you love buying, love collecting, you get pleasure and joy from collecting those items or using those items or hunting down those items. There is nothing wrong, is there? There is nothing wrong. Some people may say that, 
we're frivolous or <laughs> materialistic or there's a lot of judgment with regard to luxury bags but I'm just here to say, is it always a bad thing to be wanting the next thing or looking ahead and thinking? Does it mean that you don't appreciate any of these things? Or does it mean that you are just materialistic and you want what you want something more and nothing's ever enough? I actually look at it this way. This is how I look at things. I adore handbags. It's one of those things, it's my passion it's my joy it's my hobby i know that these things do not bring me happiness but they do they do bring me some joy and we've talked about this before for me there is a difference between happiness and joy these can bring whatever part of handbag collecting or using these beautiful accessories whether it's to make your outfit pop maybe it's to just make you feel good in what you're wearing adding those different bits of accessories whatever your reasoning for buying any of these things as long as you are not harming anybody or harming yourself it doesn't mean that i am trying to fill a void it doesn't mean i don't appreciate any of these things it just means i love them <laughs> and i want more of them and that is okay and as long as i buy more of them in a very healthy way then who cares who is anybody else to judge that other than me judging myself I don't think I have a, an unhealthy relationship with these things. I know they are material things. I know there are much bigger things in the world than this. However, one of my gorgeous subbies put a comment on one of my videos the other day saying there is so much atrocity and horrific, horrific things going on in the world right now that she comes to my channel for a little bit of respite and a little bit of escapism and a bit of entertainment hopefully and all those things to get away from the news and it doesn't mean that these things aren't happening or we don't care it just means we need a little bit of escapism and that's what this is this is just escapism my videos that I'm sharing with you but it doesn't mean that I because I buy a lot of handbags it doesn't mean that I am a vacuous person or a materialistic person or somebody who's never satisfied or I don't appreciate anything or I've got more money than cents all those things I just think I get some joy from these and as long as I'm not harming anybody actually who cares who cares so when I was using my Evelyn and I straight away thought oh I'd love this in another colour that is just a sign that I love it and I'm enjoying using it and actually this colour is working really well for me but I could also see this style working in a black in a burgundy in a navy in a brown I know this is brown but more of a chocolate brown I don't know I just can see visions of how I would wear this how I would use it and I think those are the things that drive me on I could have targets I've done this in business for a lot of years just thinking about what's next it drives you on to keep going so just because somebody isn't necessarily content with the collection as it is doesn't mean you're not content as a person it just means that there's things that you like because things are changing all the time things are evolving there's always new things coming out and I'm just interested in those things and there's nothing wrong with that so am I going to get another Evelyn at some point yes I probably am am I going to get another Cousin at some point in the future I probably am am I going to get another caviar mini in caviar most probably <laughs> most probably why not i love it i'm enjoying it i love the hunt of finding one i love the whole process of it so am i ever going to stop no <laughs> no but it did give me pause for thought because i've bought a lot recently and a lot i went to new york i, I just went crazy and i had the best time but now's time, I think, for a little bit of pause <laughs> just to shop my closet. And I'm going to do a few videos on shopping my closet and just showing you how you can pick things that you haven't worn for such a long time and just work out how they now fit into your life because things do change. And if they don't fit in anymore and it's time for them to depart, then that's okay too. 
So I'm going to shut my closet and I'm going to let you guys know how I get on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on another one.